At one time, the purpose of indoor climbing walls was to train for outdoor rock climbing, but it's become a popular activity on its own. Indoor climbing removes the barriers to climbing that are inherent in outdoor climbing, uh, with just weather, travel, expensive equipment. According to the Climbing Business Journal, the U.S. commercial indoor climbing industry grew by 10% in 2015. One of the new ones is the Mesa Rim Climbing Center in California. Modern gyms are you know, largely in 20 to, 20 to 30,000 square feet, um, and they have a full array of amenities. Devin Delatra climbs at Mesa five days a week. I don't think there's anything I've ever done where I've been able to have such uh, focus and just be in the moment. There are different disciplines, sport climbing with ropes, bouldering without ropes, and speed climbing. So the more gyms there are, the more people see that and say, oh wait, climbing isn't as crazy and dangerous as I thought it was. I can go into this climbing gym, it's very comfortable there, they'll teach me what I need to know. Competitive climbing is also growing, particularly with younger people. USA Climbing reports that registered members aged 19 and under have almost doubled since 2007. I kind of like the pressure and I like seeing how well I can perform under pressure. Helping the sport's traction is buzz around climbers like 15-year-old Ashima Shireishi, one of the world's best. My dream is to you know, keep on helping, you know, getting climbing bigger and bigger, so hopefully you know, I can compete in the Olympics and win it maybe. She just might get that chance. The sport is on the short list for possible inclusion in the 2020 Summer Games in Tokyo. Carrie Antelfinger, Associated Press.